<clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is JR Looks. Um, if you haven't already done so, please like, subscribe, and share. <sighs> Yo, so today I'm going to be doing a part two to um, the Friday the 13th reading, uh, What Nightmares Are Made Of. <clears throat> so I kind of carried that on for the whole weekend because I normally be on the cards every day, but for whatever reason, I've been getting like crazy intuitive downloads and messages so i just been jotting everything down now although friday the 13th is only on one day again like i said i carried it out for the weekend so today is sunday the, the 15th but again it's a continuation for that <sighs> okay let's get it so i have a lot to say as usual so I, again this is for the collective so i feel like yo it's a lot going on talk of the town right so let's start off with <clears throat> $9.99, three topping, one large pizza, right? So I feel like Home Alone with Kevin McAllister. I feel like, yo, somebody pretty much lives their life like on Home Alone status. Like you do whatever it is you want to, like you you unsupervised. I, I feel like, again, uh, Kevin, Kevin McAllister, like you, you were left to your own devices, like they forgot about you. And you somewhere carrying on, holding it down, right? But I feel like people think that you're all alone, which you are. But I feel like whatever community you're in, whatever community that you're in, or wherever you're at, respectively, yo, know, being that they know you're alone, it's like they watch over you. So if you think about it in all the Home Alone movies, um, he was always saved at the end by the community. It's like they had an eye on him, right? They knew who he was. They watched his get down. They watched how he moved and grew. They liked who he was, right? So I feel like... Yo, home alone, right? Yo, I also feel like, yo, they can't stop watching you, yo, but they couldn't even look at you, right? They'd have to act like it was pimping and they was looking at a bug, right? I feel like somebody can't stop watching you, right? They watching your channel. Well, whatever it is that you have, you on social media, you got pictures. <clears throat> they got pictures of you. However, yo, it's like somebody can't stop watching you. Yo, but if, if they were in your presence, they wouldn't even be able to look at you, right? Um... Yo, don't let the appearance be the interference. Jesus was born in a manger. Yo, a manger is a fucking trough where, where, where the pigs and, 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 and the cows and the chickens eat out of, right? Don't let the appearance be the interference. Nigga, Jesus was born in a motherfucking manger, right? Yo, so I also feel like Gil, the Pantheon, right? Yo, wherever the hub is for if there, whatever's considered to be good at the time, like... Or let's just say if, it was, if this was a craftsman or somebody that was in school, like this is somebody that's where all the scholars are at, whatever that craft is, respectively. Yo, this is where the, 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 the top notch motherfuckers meet at. This nigga is usually in the center of that. Right. Almost like the story of, of, you know, of, of Passover. Right. So when like Mary and Joseph, they went to Passover and Jesus was like 12. Right. Yo, so they 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 went to the Passover, did their thing, then they was leaving when it was time to go. Yo, they couldn't find Jesus, right? So they went back looking for him. Like, man, where this little nigga at? We for, man, we finna beat his ass, right? He was only 12. Yo, so when they got back and they found him, they found him in the temple with all with, with, with all, all, all the all, all the top-notch, you know, rabbis and priests at the time. Yo, and, and they said they was in there questioning him. He was in there questioning. Or no, they was in there questioning him, and they were shocked and astounded by what this by what this nigga was saying. Translation, yo, he was in there schooling they ass, and he was twelve, right? So I said that to say, yo, where, where, wherever the top notch people are at, yo, good or bad, this motherfucker's right in the center of it. The guild, the pantheon, right? Yo, uh, back to the appearance. Don't let the appearance be the interference. I also feel like, yo, uh, somebody has a lotus flower background. Yo, and, and as far as the lotus flower goes, yo, the lotus flower is considered, if not the prettiest, one of the prettiest flowers in the world, right? But here's the catch. Yo, it blooms in real fucked up conditions, right? The water's bad. There's little sunlight. There's bugs and shit. There's thickets. There's storm berries. There's, there's all kind of poisonous shit around. It's like, yo, it's a horrible environment, right? But... The worse of the condition, the prettier the flower grows, right? So again, don't let the appearance be the interference, right? 
Yo, so I also had a channeled song. It's uh, this is the more uh, it's it's from the movie with John Travolta. It's called Phenomenon. But LL's on the song. It's like something like a phenomenon. I'm something like a phenomenon, right? So I feel like somebody here is a phenom. This goes back to Jesus getting found in the temple, blown, popping, blowing they, he literally making smoke come out the rabbi's ears. Like, hey man, who is like a prodigy? So this, the, whoever this person is, yo. If they play sports in high school, yo, they was a phenom at it. This is a motherfucker that's been in the newspaper a couple times, right? Uh, like, whatever they do, uh, uh, there's a wrestler called Mr. Perfect, right? Rest in peace, Kurt Hennig. Yo, they like perfect at it, right? This is somebody who's, yo, they, they greasy at whatever they do. The, the, the phenom, it's like the halo effect, right? The halo effect is usually when you're good at something, motherfuckers just think you good at everything. And what happens is that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? So a phenom, right? I feel like somebody here is a phenom. Yo, and here's the flip side to that. Yo, I feel like if you got haters, something phenomenal is happening. Your haters are like, if you have new haters, your old haters are, 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 are setting qualifications for you to be a hater. So, yo, it's like your old haters are, are not allowing you to get new haters because they feel like, yo, you got to be qualified to hate on this nigga, right? That's the phenomenal thing that's popping, right? Yo, I feel like, yo, somebody here got good at doing bad. There's two meanings to that. This can be a mastermind criminal, right? You got good at doing bad. You perfected the art of being bad. Or if you grew up in, 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 a, in a condition or conditions to where you not you, you, you really didn't always have what you needed and 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 uh yeah, you didn't have it, you didn't have much, yo. That taught you to be so resourceful, right? So now it's like, yo, uh you got to the point of uh, so it's like you you got you, again. You learn how to do good when you, when you're doing bad. So what little you had to work with, motherfucker, turn turn that into a whole meal, right? This is somebody somebody who buy a pound of potatoes and, and and make something new with it every day, right? You you found a way to get your money's worth, right? Somebody here is really resourceful, right? Um, so when you don't got it, it look like you got it. It ain't that you fake until you making it. Right, you just yo. This is just who you are, yo. You got good. You, you got good at doing bad, right? So I feel like yo that bothers people because yo know, people could have a lot more than you, right? Whether material, usually material, right? People can have a lot more than you, right? But you can look like you're doing better than them. So people feel like yo, you should look like how your finances reflect or or how they knew you to be. But for whatever reason, it, it, it's like yo. I know I got more than you, or, or, or I know you really ain't got no money, so you're not supposed to be washing your ass. You're not supposed to be smelling good. You're not supposed to be around here with clean clothes. You're supposed to look like you're doing bad, and it don't. It's actually, you actually look good while you're doing bad, if that make, of course that makes sense, right? Yo, so also Bobby Hemmett, that, yo, that's, that's a very small brother. If anybody's uh, hip to him, uh, especially in the spiritual world, just to go check out Bobby Hemmett. He's been popping up lately a lot. Right. So, yo, back to the Home Alone thing. I feel like uh, you have hidden helpers around you. Right. Like Undercover Boss. If you ever seen that TV show, Undercover Boss is literally the boss goes in and see what's going on. So I feel like you could have met the boss or somebody really, really powerful. I feel like you could have helped this person. You had no clue. You could have just been being yourself and helped this person. And somebody was like, yo, you know what? I'm going to fuck with this dude. Right. I like this dude. He don't even know what he just did or who he just helped. Right. Somebody really got you, right? Yo, I also feel like Hancock, but instead of drinking, he smoke weed, right? I feel like, yo, motherfuckers can't do nothing with you whatsoever, right? The biggest thing is, yo, let's, let, let, what do you say on Rush Hour? Come on, man, let's come together and pray about this. The biggest thing is, it's like, yo, look, how can we just work? Can, how can we work together? What it is, if you can't beat them and join them, yo, listen, Hancock was written and allowed itself to be locked up. When he got bored, the nigga carved the thing, carved a circle around the glass and just poked it out as if to say, hey, look, bro, I, you know I can leave when I want to. Yo, when, the, when, they, when they were shooting a basketball and they shot it over the fence, the nigga jumped out of the fence, picked it up. The guard the alarms and shit was going on. He just stood there like, let me go back and finish this. I agree to this, right? So they biggest thing right now is to just, yo, Lord, how can we work together, right? Because they can't do nothing with you, right? You got 10, 15 times more power than they can even believe of, right? 
So they got to take a different approach when dealing with you. I feel like you're a game changer. You changed the game. I been, the, the song um, Change the Game by Jay-Z and uh, Miff Bleak came up. Yo, so I also got Miff Bleak. I feel like somebody here has been very, very loyal from the beginning to whatever the cause was, and they fit to get paid from that, right? Uh, uh, I channeled Trina, the baddest bitch, too. So I feel like, yo, somebody here is the, 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 the what, what they say on Men in Black, the best of the best of the best, sir, with honors. You got that kind of energy, right? Um, yo, so also, uh, yo, I, I've been having the Ace of Pentacles sit out lately, yo, and the Ace of Pentacles, uh, Pentacles represents something of value, something tangible, something, you know, you concrete, you can feel, right, uh, right, but Pentacles also has to do with magic, yo, so if Aces represents beginnings, I feel like, yo, you could be uptaking a new craft, but not only a new craft, like this school of magic, you could be going to a metaphysical shop, right, you could be, uh, Yo, 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 you could be getting books on signias and charms and, and vigils and what certain shit mean, right? So I feel like somebody stepping into the school of magic or the school of the gifted, right? School of performing arts, right? School of uh, dance, acting, yo, uh, a school of the arts, right? If somebody's looking into getting into that or somebody's already into that or somebody's getting all the things, getting ready to go for that, right? Right? Um, all things magic. Yo, uh, so I also heard the song, Somebody Loves You, Baby. Yo, so if shit seem like it's tough and it's just you, yo, just know it's not, bro. Uh, that song, I, I forget the artist right now, but those who know, know who it is, yo. I feel like somebody who passed over, somebody is watching over you and somebody loves you, right? Somebody loves you, baby. Okay, Richard Pryor. Yo, there's there's a snippet of a, of a Richard Pryor uh, comedy thing when he'd be like, hey, that nigga crazy. Yo, I feel like I've been saying this kind of quite frequent. Yo, somebody really got it fucked up, right? Based on your demeanor, your, 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 your disposition, your persona. Yo, somebody, yo, somebody has no clue, right? Yo, you missing the mayonnaise and the mustard off your sandwich, right? Yo, I also got, I want him, daddy. Rich dad. So I feel like, yo, you caught the obs, you caught the obs, somebody powerful, right? And they, they, their their family has the, the, the ability to put you in a position and, and like, yo, essentially like put you up. So I feel like uh, I want him, daddy. Somebody, yo, so somebody's parents are pursuing you, right? Somebody's parents in a hot position, right? I feel like, yo, <clears throat> right? So I feel like, here, yo, Somebody like somebody likes you and, and, and is infatuated with you from from a, a, a sapiosexual point of view, right? All based off what you know, your research, your yo, know, you, you could be into the occult, uh, all uh, all things witchy, right? Seduction, like yeah. You know, when you speak, it's like yo, know, you entrance and you captivate, you you tantalize, you 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 seize people when you speak, or or, or there's a lure, a, a hypnotic to you that just has people stuck, right? Um. Again, also on, 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 on the flip side, yo, this goes back to the persona and demeanor, right? I feel like, yo, you could be cool, right? And uh, non-confrontational, but I feel like you also aggressive and very direct. I mean, an aggressive in the sense to where you make a motherfucker have a fear fart. And for those that don't know what a fear fart is, a fear fart is when you fart and it smell like shit, you, you, right? That you, 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 the next one, you about to shit on yourself. Yo, that's I feel like this kind of this, this kind of aggression you, you 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 can show when need to like really have them shook up right. Uh, I feel like somebody here is a hot boy right. Cash money could be real 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 uh real influential. All right, I feel like somebody jumped off the porch early right. Um, I also feel like somebody could be Cajun Creole. They family from the deep south. They could be Caribbean. You know, one of them hot blood one of them hot blooded people right. Um, they could be a good cook, uh, real good with their hands, a baker, someone who could spice things up naturally, right? I'm also hearing Queen of the South from um, uh, uh, the TV show with Teresa. That's my shit, y'all. I feel like here somebody here is a scientist, and this again, this goes back to the guild. I feel like they, if they're a scientist, whatever they is, they hang out with the top, the 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 the, the upper echelon motherfuckers of that of, of that uh, of that uh, of, of that guild. Right. And then, like I said, I got Jack Skellington. If y'all, those who know who Jack Skellington is, yo, 
His big homie was was the professor, right? When when Jack came over, the professor stopped everything he's doing. He's like, yo, Jack, up here. When Jack told him, hey, man, listen, yo, I need some stuff. I'm doing some research. Nigga, the professor gave him everything he needed. So I feel like somebody has some access. Uh, somebody has access to some, some next level shit, right? Somebody got some, some like, access to next level shit. Yo, whatever it is they trying to get into, they know how to go get the right information, right? Uh, shout out to my father. Yo, my father says, uh, somebody knows how to work on you till they get the aha moment, right? Aha, like, I, I got it, right? I also feel like somebody feel a spill of beans. Somebody's feel a double cross, the person they paid to double cross, right? So I'm, I'm feeling like the, 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 the movie John Wick, where they paid John Wick, John Wick's friend, um, the older guy, uh, I think his name is William Defoe, to, to, to kill John Wick, but instead he just, he took the money, and, and, and was shooting at John Wick, but more so like letting him know like, hey, bro, this is what's going on. And then at the end, you know, he let him get away, which would, of course is what he was going to do after he put him up on game. And although he ended up dying, he took like a few of them niggas with him outside of the getting the other contract counts. Right. <clears throat> so I also feel like uh, somebody who's a survey taker, like what I mean by survey taker, somebody's considerate. Right. You know, on, on the YouTube ads where it say, yo, this, that and the third or. If they on the phone and they say, "Would you like to take a survey?" I feel like somebody's somebody's that kind of person, right? Where they where they where, where they consider how this can help the other person, right? Yo, so if y'all ever seen Kickboxer, uh, there's a nigga named Tong Po with the long ponytail, right? Uh, I feel like whatever somebody trains in, this goes back to the Pantheon, the Guild, where the Thespians, where all the top-notch motherfuckers at. I feel like somebody trains like Tom Poe. Now, if you ever seen Kickboxer, yo, when John claude Van Damme walked in to see who uh, his brother was about to box, yo, he walked in and seen Tom Poe was in there punching a wall. Boom. Boom. And and, shit, and kicking, the shit, kicking the wall, too. Yo, and this is like a pillar. Yo, and, and he he leaving like dents in the motherfucker and and and, and breaking the wall and and John Claude Van Damme looking at the at, at the corner like man, so he go back and tell his brother, hey look, um, yo, bro, I, this nigga got a crazy back to Richard Pryor, hey man, that nigga crazy, yo, this nigga got a crazy look in his eye, bro. I don't think you should take the fade with this one. I feel like somebody trained like Tong Po, somebody get that kind of training, right? Um. Yo, I feel like the D'Angelo album Voodoo is very significant. If those who don't know, um, 20 years later, 23 years later, I'm starting to realize that album is a manifesto, right? So I feel like, yo, somebody needs to go and listen to the song, send it on. More importantly, look at the video with the lyrics on the screen. Um, yo, I seen a quote not the, uh, a day ago, a couple of days ago, and it said, yo, a glow stick... Um, doesn't glow until it's broken, right? So I feel like if a motherfucker feel like he been drugged through the ringer, yo, you are now just starting to glow, right? Think about E.T. Yo, E.T. finger only lit up when he was about to die around this motherfucker, right? It only lit up, right? Then they came to him, right? When, and once they came, yo, the flowers started blooming, everything around him lit up, right? So I feel like uh, somebody, right? It, 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 the, this the caterpillar... Is about to leave the cocoon the butterfly, right? As one of my partners used to say, somebody is about to be a pickle, never to be a cucumber again. Um, I feel like Mr. Deeds, somebody got, yo, you got some money or some kind of inheritance put up, right? Yo, you the perfect, you the perfect candidate. I don't know how you came across this, how this was left to you. Again, this goes back to you must have did something really good for somebody in a real position, just being you, and might have not had shit to share with, right? I mean, I mean excuse me, not, it's not shit to show, shit to share with. You might have had nothing to really help with, but somebody probably seeing you take your last and divide your last up, or you tried to probably spit your last with somebody and didn't know, yo, they was just there for, for whatever reason, and they had it all right, and they seen you do that, and they like, yo, you know what? Yo, I've been looking for somebody like this, right? Yo, I feel like Mr. D's in real life is about to pop, right? I also feel like, yo, yo, you starting to get to the position where people act to ass about you, right? Uh, I feel like people lose their character when it comes to defending you. If that hasn't started happening, uh, that's going to start happening, right? This goes back to your haters are going to start making people have qualifications to be able to hate you, right? Because they know, your haters know, you ain't no bad dude. They know they hating you for their own insecure reasons. So when new people come along, yo, it's almost like they're going to say, 
Bro, you ain't even qualified to hate this nigga, right? Because if you're qualified to hate this nigga, then what am I, right? Because, yo, you, yo, you ain't even fucking with me. That's how your haters are going to start to feel, right? So I feel like, yo, your haters are start going to, uh, start going to, uh, uh, to, to defend you. What God say, y'all? Uh, what my enemies meant, what my enemies meant for for bad, God took and made it for good, right? Uh, he said he'll make even your enemies be at peace with you, right? Uh. I also feel like, yo, you punked the boogeyman. So this goes to Halloween Resurrection when Buster Rhymes was talking to Michael Myers and didn't know my, this was the actual killer. And Buster Rhymes like, bro, what the fuck you dressed up like me for, bro, man? Are you supposed to be out there in the back? And Buster Rhymes like, hey, man, nigga, get that through your head. Go on. And Michael Myers stared at this nigga like, bro, what, nigga, you know I can kill you, bro? What the? And Mike just walked off. I feel like you did it that, right? Y'all also feel like, yo, did I do that? That's coming from Urkel from Family Matters. I feel like somebody did some real clown shit to you. And whenever Urkel said that, it's, it's after he did some clown shit, right? So I feel like somebody did some real clown shit and they regret doing it. It's like whatever whatever made them do it, it wore off and they came to their sense and they like, yo, yo, did I do that? Yo, why did I do that? No, clown, yo, put that motherfucking wig and that nose back on, bro. That is exactly how I see you and that is exactly how you remain, right? No, somebody did some clown shit that they cannot come back from, right? So, uh, yeah, these are all the channel messages I have for uh, Friday the 13th, part two. Something like a phenomenon. Again, if you like what you heard, yo, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, again, um, thank you. Have a good one.